Hello and um, welcome to this video in which I'm going to be setting up Nornia from scratch. Um, we're going to take all the configuration files and build them one by one and in this video we're going to focus on the configuration file. So if we just jump into Google here the documentation you can find very easily uh, just Google Nornia uh, the latest documentation is right here and if we go into configuration the configuration file uh, that we're going to set up um, looks something like this and we could literally just copy that and paste it in um, but I'm going to build this out and show you line by line exactly um, what it is and what each line does so we'll put that to the side for the moment and I'm in my Visual Studio code and I've created a folder um, just called that folder Nornia and then we're going to build everything from in this folder. Now the content from this lesson is built from a course I've got which is Master Nornia, uh, the Python automation framework. Uh, the description, uh, the link for that course is in the description um, and that also goes along with some Ansible course I've got um, and I've also got a bundle with all of those courses together so all the information for that is in the description but uh, that's not why we're here today we're going to just go through the configuration file for Nornia so as I said I've got this folder Nornia and I'm in Visual Studio Code and I'm just going to literally create a file called config.yaml uh, and I'm going to put a description here. So this is the Nornia configuration file. And it's a YAML file. We we'll stick the three dashes in. Now, very simply, there's a core element and there's a line that's called num workers. Now this is how many connections, parallel connections, that Nornia will do at the same time. So when you fire off a command within Nornia, um, if you're running a show command or you're doing a backup, it will go out to the, the maximum number of devices you set here. So if we set this to one, it will do one device at a time. But we stick it at 100, it will run 100 parallel connections at once. And this is one of the main selling points uh, one of the big advantages of Nornia is the parallelization, par parallelization um, it, that it will go out and synchronously connect to all the devices at the same time, which makes it a much faster um, tool to use than things like Ansible, which are a bit limited in the amount of parallel connections they can support. So we've done the core, um, and then for the inventory, um, it actually uses a plugin. So now you can, as I said, literally copy that file straight off the documentation. Uh, but we're just going to be careful here with the YAML, and you can just see that this is just two um, spaces indented in here in the YAML file. And from Nornia dot plugins dot inventory. And we're going to use the simple inventory. So that's the, the line there. And then within that inventory, we stay under the plugin element. We've got some options, two more spaces there. And we specify uh, three files here. Now the host file. So this is where uh, you define the devices that you want to automate, the same as Ansible's host file. Um, so this is going to say where I'm going to put the host file. And it's literally in uh, my folder Nornia slash. Now I haven't built the host file yet, but this is the the location for it. And then we've got a group file. So this is where you can specify uh, more uh, generic information. So groups of devices. So you've got a Cisco group or a routers group or a DC group. And then within there you can specify um, parameters for that group. So that one is exactly the same format. 
say where it is. So everything's in my Nornia folder and I'm going to call it groups.yaml. And the final one is the defaults. Uh, defaults file. And that lives in exactly the same place. Nornia slash defaults dot yaml now I'll just check here uh, so this is on the command line this is where my folder is home roger nornia so this is the location where i'm going to create all those files and you see now i've currently just got that config dot yaml so just briefly again the core num workers that's the amount of parallel connections we're using the simple inventory plugin and within that we've got three options that we've defined which is the host file the groups file and the defaults file so what i need to do there is then go and create all these other folders which i'm going to do in another video so thanks for watching and um, if you like this do hit that subscribe button and look out for more videos on python network automation nornia and all things network automation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.